US, the Nasdaq hit 5,000 on Monday for the first time in 15 years. Can it really go any higher? Saxo's Peter Garnery believes it can, but in the long term. Yeah, we're still positive on equities, but will, in the short term there will be some headwinds for, uh, for the Nasdaq, and that's mainly due to the stronger dollar that will sort of take down the foreign profits that the, uh, that the large cap companies in the Nasdaq index are, are getting. Um, but we are, we are above 5,000, we're getting very close to an all-time high on, on the close. Um, I don't see any reasons why you shouldn't be positive uh, on equities. And if you look at the valuation of, of the Nasdaq Composite Index, we're just sort of in the around the average range that we have been in since 2003. So we are not in any, by any means, in an overheated, overheated territory. Of course, the Nasdaq came crashing down after the dot-com bubble burst in 2002. But Peter says the index looks very different today. What has happened for Nasdaq since 2000 is that we have moved away from an index dominated by small emergent companies that only uh, pursued user growth and page views and not so much revenue to now, in, if you look at the top 20 list on, on, waiting, on waitings in the index, it's predominantly biotech firms and large, fast-growing technology firms that we all know, Apple, Google, Microsoft. Uh, among the biotech, you have Silgen, Biogen, Amgen, you have uh, Gillette Sciences. And, and most of all these 20 stocks have done phenomenal over the last five or six years. And the underlying uh, earnings growth and the return on invested capital, the sales growth, the, the patents that are surrounded by these companies is just phenomenal. I mean, you, it is a really, really interesting basket, especially if you focus on the Nasdaq 100, which is sort of the, the biggest 100 in, without of the whole Nasdaq Composite Index. Peter sounding bullish there, but he's well aware the strong dollar could spoil the party. A lot of the big companies in the Nasdaq 100 index are getting a lot of their profits and sales overseas, so outside the North American continent. And because of the stronger dollar, all this foreign profit, when it's translated back into US dollars when on a consolidated income statement, you'll see lower profits. So the stronger dollar will act as a headwind for, for earnings and that will take earnings growth down somewhat. And also the stronger dollar have changed the investor focus. So people are looking at Europe now and that's also will have an impact on the on sort of the, the sentiment on the on Nasdaq uh, equities.